Jerry of the circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Whew. Whitey, Whitey. Uh, yeah, Jerry. I'm all through watering the horses. Anything else? No, I guess that's all, Jerry. You got through in a hurry, didn't you? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, say, Jerry, uh, you remember a few days ago you asked me if you could put Splendor through some tricks? Yeah. Well, how about it now? If you haven't anything better to do. Sure, can I? Well, I don't see why not. Go get him. All right. You know, it's not too early for him to learn a little something. We might just as well get him used to his saddle and see if we can get a bit in his mouth. Haven't you tried that yet? No, and I thought I'd wait for you to give me a hand with him. It might be that he'll listen to you better than he will me. Yeah, he sure likes me, I guess. Mm. Let's just take him out here in the back. There's a lot of open space out there on the lot. What's the first thing we have to do? Well, I'd like to get him used to his saddle if we can do it the first day. You hear that, Splendor? Now, you be a good little horse. Come on, Splendor. You'll soon find out how good you are. Golly, you got a saddle and bridle for him already. Yes, sir. We'll start on him right now. Whoa, Splendor. Now, let's put this blanket on him first. There we are. Whoa, Splendor. Easy there. Mm. Now, let's see if you'll go for this saddle. Up we go. Easy now. We're not going to hurt you. Whoa, whoa. Now, get a shorter hold on that rope right okay. close to his neck. Now, yeah. now hold it tight. I'm going to try to get this cinch strap under him. He doesn't like it very well, Whitey. Oh, easy. Hold him tight, Jerry. I'm holding him. Yeah. There we are. Now, if I can just take that strap a little. Good. You got it on. Now, let loose of him. Let him go, Jerry. He'll run away. Well, let him go. Let him run around a little. He has to get used to that saddle. Here he goes, then. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Running right around in a big circle. Oh, a true circus pony if there ever was one. Golly, he's sure trying to shake that saddle off. Yeah. <laughs> but he'll get tired of that soon enough, though. He's slowing down already. Now, now grab him now, Jerry. I got him. Take it easy, Splendor. Uh, now, do you think you want to take a chance and get up on him now? You think you'll let me? Well, I don't know, Jerry. Maybe we'd better see if we can get that bridle on first. Then you'll have a way of holding him back. He may take a notion to run away with you. If we can get that bit in his mouth as easy as it was to get the saddle on him, it'll be all right. Yes, sir. It sure surprised me how easy we got him dressed up in his saddle. Uh, hold him tight now. I've got a good hold on him. All right. Now, here we go. I'll throw this over his head quick. Oh, oh, oh look out, Whitey. Oh, golly, Whitey, I, I'm sorry. I, good holding me. Uh, he just jerked the rope yeah. right out of my hand. That's all right, Jerry. That's all right. I expected that. Hey, Jerry comes back again. Shall I catch him? Uh, yeah, yeah. Get him if you can. I got him. Fine, fine. Now, now we'll try it again. Now, hold still, Splinter. This won't hurt you. You know I won't want to hurt you. Right, here we go again. Oh. Whoa, whoa, boy. Now, hold tight, Jerry. Uh, I've got it on. Now, just a second now till I get this fastened. There we are. Good for you, Whitey. There now, is that so bad, Splendor? Now for the worst part. I don't think getting this bit in his mouth will be quite so easy. Better let me over there in front of him. Okay. Now, come on, Splendor. Be a good pony now. Ah, you're going to get used to this sometime, and it might as well be now. Come on, open up your mouth. Nice, Splendor, nice, Splendor. Oh, oh. Come on, now, let's not play. You almost got it in. Uh, that's not so bad, is it, Splendor? He's getting quieter now. Here we 
go now. Open up. That's the fella. Good, you did it. Now, let's fasten this strap. Yeah, there it is. Now, what do you think of that? He doesn't like it very well. No, and he won't for some time. Takes a while to get a horse used to a bit in his mouth. Uh, you want to climb up on him now? You think he'll let me? You'll just have to try it, Jerry. Come on, I'll help you up. You'll have to be quick about it. That's right. Put your foot in the stirrup. Now, up you go. Whoa, whoa, it's Flanders. <laughs> Golly. Hold him down, Jerry. Oh, Hold him down. Oh, easy, Flanders. <laughs> Try and get him Golly. over here, Jerry. Hey, Whitey. Wow. What a ride. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's enough for the first time out. Here, I'll, I'll get a hold of him. Now, come on, get down. I thought he'd shake me to pieces. It, it was all I could do to stay in the saddle. <laughs> you sure look like a canoe in a rough sea being bounced around up there. <laughs> Aren't you ashamed of yourself, Splendor, giving me a wild ride like that? Yeah, well, we'd better hurry up now and get that bridle and saddle off. Is that all the longer you're going to leave it on? Well, sure, Jerry. That's plenty long for the first time. I never thought we'd get that far with him. Say, we did wonders. And I think it's because he thinks so much of you that we did. Yeah. Here, Jerry, uh, give me a hand with his saddle. Okay. Uh, now the bridle. Uh, as soon as I take it off, you get that rope holder around his neck again. All right. I'm ready. All right, now. There we are. Now, that wasn't so awful for the first time. Now, was it, Splendor? When can we do this again, huh? Oh, we'll have to keep it up now that we've started. It won't be half as hard getting him rigged up the next time. Because he knows now that it isn't so bad, huh? That's just it, yeah. Well, come on now. Let's lead him back into the tent. You got the saddle and bridle? Yeah, I got it. When can we start teaching him some tricks? Well, now, uh, just as soon as he feels a little more at home with his saddle on. It won't be long before we can see what kind of a jumper he's going to be. That's right. You said his mother was a jumper, didn't you? One of the best. Here you go, Splendor. Uh, just tie him up there, Jerry. There you are, Splendor. Now, wasn't that fun? And you didn't want that saddle on. Yeah. Well, thanks, Whitey, for letting me help. Well, now, thank you, Jerry. I feel pretty sure I'd have had an awful time with that youngster if you hadn't helped. I guess I'll be going back over to the wagon now. Bumps is probably waiting for me. Okay, Jerry, run along. See you later. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye, Jerry. Goodbye. Hey, kid, was that you up in that pony a while ago? Yeah. <laughs> you look like a whole Wild West show all by yourself. It's a cowboy, kid. Keep it up. Thanks. I I'm glad you like my riding. <laughs> riding or bouncing, it was all right. Well, Rags, old fella. You're coming to meet me, aren't you? Good for you, Rags. You just missed it. You should have seen me riding Splendor. Yes, I was. I was riding him just like a real cowboy. Hello, Jerry. I'm waiting for you. Hiya, Carlos. What do you want? I've got the tight wire set up here. I thought you wanted to be a tight wire walker like the great Bendini. You mean you want me to practice today? Sure, you have to practice today. I've got the wire set up higher, too. It is three feet off the ground. Oh, well, that's too high for me. I can't walk on it good enough yet. Ah, oh, yes, you can. I've got a pair of carman shoes for you. You will see it is easy. Here, put on these shoes. Okay, I'll, I'll try it. Good boy, that is the spirit. I bet you you will be one very good tight wire walker very soon now. Maybe you joined the Bendini's act, yes? Oh, you're fooling me. What? You think Carlos Bendini would play jokes? Everything I say is the truth. I mean it. You're starting young and you will learn fast. Okay, I'm ready. These shoes fit me keen. All right. Here is your balancing pole. Get up on the wire now. Uh, that's the way. Golly, it's... it's, it's hey, hey, what's the matter? It, it wobbles so. Uh, the wire is all right. It is you, Jerry. Be careful. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, uh, now, oh, see you golly. fall down. Quick, now, get up on the wire again. You have to keep trying. You only took three steps that time. This time you must take many more. Okay, I'll, I'll try it again. But the wire seems to shake so much. Hey, I think you were better the first time you tried. Did you forget? No, I'm doing everything you told me the other day. I kept my eye on the end of the wire. All right, all right. Take it slow now. Uh, that's right. Four steps? Five steps? Six steps. Oh. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. This will never do. I think you are like the young animals, huh? I have to give you rewards so you will walk all the way across the wire. What you gonna give me? Ah, uh, I tell you, Jerry, I think I give you big ice cream soda. All right, I'll do it. See, aha, the reward system works. So soon you get to the other side of the wire, I take you right into town and buy you fine soda. This wire sways so much, it... 
awful hard to keep my balance. Ah, uh, don't pay attention to rags. You just keep your eyes on the wire. He's only barking because my sister Carmen is coming. Be careful, Jerry. Keep your eyes on the wire. Oh! There, you have fall down. Ah, uh, he fall down many times, Carmen. Carlos said he'd buy me an ice cream soda if I could walk all the way across the wire. He did, eh? You are very generous, brother. I think he will learn quicker if I give him reward. Come here, Jerry. I will tell you the secret of walking the wire so you will get the soda from Carlos. You go away, Carlos. I do not want you to hear what I say to Jerry. All right. You tell him how the great Carmen can walk the wire. What's the secret, Carmen? My brother, he's playing joke with you. Huh? He think I did not notice he has got the wire very loose. Even himself, he could not walk on such a loose wire. I thought the wire was swaying too Certainly, much. Certainly, it is too loose. Now, I tell you what you do. I call Carlos away to the other side of the wagon, where he cannot see you. And then you make the wire tight. Do you know how? Sure, I know how to do it. All right, then. Carlos, Carlos, come here, around to the other side of the wagon. How do you like that, Rags? He was playing a trick on me all the time. I'll bet I can walk across now, and he'll have to buy me a soda. There. Now it's good and tight. Golly, no wonder I couldn't take more than five steps. Hey, I'm ready now. Here I go. Go ahead, Jerry. We are watching you. You think the secret Carmen told you will work? I, I think so. Here I go. Two steps, three steps, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good boy, <laughs> Jerry. Yeah, it is wonderful. <laughs> I can hardly believe my eyes. I did it. I, I got across. You see, Carlos, you play jokes on little boys, and now you must pay. You owe me a soda, Carlos. All right, all right. But if Carmen did not tell you the secret, you could not walk on the wire. The joke's on you, Carlos. You're the loser. For shame on you, Carlos. Oh, I was only having fun. Jerry is not angry with me, are you? <clears throat> nah. You see, Carmen, the first thing I want Jerry to learn and learn by himself is that you have to have the wire good and tight. I know. You just like to play tricks all the time. But remember, Jerry can play tricks, too. And someday you will get even, yes, Jerry? And beat it, everybody! Oh. A lion's loose! Oh. Look for your lives! Undercover, everybody! One of Jason's lions loose? Golly, did you hear that? Quick, quick, get in the wagon! In the wagon, quick, Jerry! Quick, quick, get in here! I got feet over there! Quick, we will be killed! Goodbye! 